All right, guys, good morning. I figured I'd take you with me today. I gotta go pick up the trailer for work, but first I gotta put a brake control in the new Silverado. So let's, uh, I'll show you what I got. We'll pop it in. We'll go pick up a trailer in a dirt field and hope we don't get stuck. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. There's a little backstory on that. I'll tell you, catch up on that when we get in the truck, but let's, uh, let's get this brake controller in. We're in this brake control. So here it is. I like this one. It's the one I got on my, uh, my other, the one I use in the Burb and the one I use in the K20. Works great. And then there is a harness. So if you don't have the built-in and you got all the tow stuff, then all you really have to do is plug in a harness right to the brake control and then bango flango, it all works. Um, if you don't have that stuff, then it's a way longer video. But anyways, most of the time you just plug that in, plug it right to the back of there and bang, you're good to go. So let's get her installed. I got the brake controller up in here. So that's where it's gonna sit. Yes, I put two screws in there. Ain't that big of a deal. And uh, she's chilling right there. So. I think on the, in Amanda's car, in the uh, Suburban, I think I got it over here, um, somewhere, wherever wherever I have it, like I bump my knee on it all the time, so I wanted it tucked up out of the way, so it should be good to go. And then I'll show you the wiring down here. So basically it's just the pigtail, plugs right into the back, and then it comes over, and see if I can get you in there. But anyways, you can see the wiring zip tied up right there. So there's a nice little spot to zip it up. And let's see, get my finger on it there. You can see somewhere. Yeah, so you see that plug? I'm trying to get a better shot of it. But anyways, let's see. So this plug right here, anyways, God dang it. It's hard to get, hard to get you in there. All right, so there we go. There's a plug. So it's basically just like right up in here. Now it does have a, where'd I put it? It does have a false, like a false plug in it. So you have to remove this first and then this looks exactly like harness that you buy for your brake control. So anyways, that's up in there. So if you go to plug it in and you're like, hey, what's going on? It's because this is in here. So you have to remove this and then plug the plug the harness up. And like literally the plug is just right, like right here, you'll see it. So easy stuff. So let's go fetch that trailer. All right, so I'm backing up to this trailer. The one thing I do like about the Silverado is that it does have like a, like a hitch. Like, you know, the camera's great. You know, you can do it without it, but um, it's kind of cool because it's got a, like a, a line where you can actually line up the hitch ball. So that's pretty cool, but I don't want to get too close to this trailer. So let me go check it out. All right, so we got her all hooked up, had to get the stabilizers up and the slide room and stuff in. So we're hooked up, it's pretty tight. So like there's a trailer, like I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's like super close. So hopefully we have room to swing. So I don't think we're gonna hit nothing, but uh, See if we can if we can get this sucker up out of here without okay, we're gonna have to get pretty close to this. I just don't want the trailer to get too close to this other trailer here. But so the problem and <laughs> I'll tell you the backstory here in a minute, but anyway, so this field this field's not looking too bad. I'm probably gonna put it in four-wheel drive just in case, but I think we'll be alright. Let's go slow. I gotta go through this grassy section there because we've had some rain here. I gotta go through this grassy section. I just wanna make sure uh, we're not gonna have any issues or get stuck or anything. It looks like we're, I'm gonna get out and take a look. Let's look. So we're all clear, but uh, yeah, so anyway, so in this grassy section, there's these big giant ruts. And uh, so I don't want to get stuck, but I think we're good. But we got to swing it way out here and then straighten out so we can get through the gate. a little tight oh yeah no problem no problems yeah, 
adjust the gain a little bit. We got a little too many, too much brakes on it right now. Gates tight in here. drive just to get her up the hump here. I don't know. We'll just get a little speed. It'll be fine. There we go. Gate is tight. I'm glad I got big old double gates at the house. But... Oh, it's tight back through here. All right, so we'll get out here to the street and uh, check everything out, make sure everything's groovy. Squatted the truck pretty good, but this, so this trailer is right at, well, the GVW on the trailer is right at what the truck can, can tow. So, you know, normally I would go like a weight distribution or something, but I'm just going across town, so good to go. Good go. Let's pull it on over here. Check everything out. Make sure all the lights and everything are working. Wasn't too bad of a deal. Brakes feel like they're working good though. Pump them down just a little bit. So what I like to do with the brake control is like I'll go up to like, you know, like this speed, like probably like eight, 10 miles an hour, and then I'll hit the brake. And if it, if it stops you pretty good without locking everything up and feeling super drastic, then that's what I roll with. And then you'll feel like if you slip, and I use the slider on the brake control. And um, if you feel like, um, like it's not doing enough, then just bump up the gain a little bit. But right now it feels really good. So I'm gonna go check things out. I will be right back. A little windy, might get a little wind in the shot, but here we go. Then in a, and squat it like way too much so it's just a little bit lower than the front which is uh good so i know a lot of people they like to take the rake off the truck so it's completely level but that's why it has the rake so that way when you're towing a trailer it kind of levels things out you're not super squatting in the rear but anyways we're gonna get rolling make it to work tested the lights so the truck has a cool feature trailer and it does all the lights so you can test everything without having to have somebody in the vehicle which is awesome all right so the coupler lock pin is in the uh one thing i guess i wished is that i wish my mirrors were a little bit longer um but that's okay i'm gonna be passing anybody see really good with this driver mirror though it's got a convex on it but all right let's do it let's go hit tow haul mode so coupler lock pins in the um uh the emergency brake cables hooked up so I always try to hook that up separately with some kind of like little d-ring that way you know if something happens with your chains at least you know that is all good I'm not trying to make this a trailer tutorial video but you know it's good stuff to know right all right, here we go, here we go. So uh, cancel, we'll get out of that. Get out of that, and we will tow haul modes on. Let's roll. Let's roll, baby. So I'll go ahead and give you the backstory here. So about, I think about a month and a half ago, right before all this pandemic stuff went down, I get a text. Um, it's actually just like a contact my boss sent me so I, I call and uh, old Bobby he's like hey I need you to come pull me out I'm stuck so I uh, I get the Jeep get the Jeep 
rollover always have recovery gear in it and uh, so I rolled over here and he was in that field where I was picking up and uh, it had just rained and it was super sloppy and uh, so he just the dually was stuck so the dually it's just a two-wheel drive open rear diff so it wasn't going anywhere so I ended up having to winch him out and uh, it was just it was too much and like the trailer was too heavy to hook the Jeep up and like pull it out um, you know the, the Jeep can't handle that much weight so that's basically what happened is I had to go and, and rescue him and so then now it's ready to roll I can haul this sucker into work uh, I think they just have to do some I don't know what they're doing to it but they just asked me to pick it up and I'm like sure I'll pick it up so give the truck a little test needed to get the brake controller installed anyways and uh, it's pretty awesome so getting up on the freeway now feels like it's got plenty of power it's the exact same engine that's in the Suburban and it tows my travel trailer beautifully um, so I've I haven't done like super serious grades with the Suburban, but I've taken it like all the way to like Cedar City, Utah, and there's some decent grades on the I-15. And basically what'll happen is it'll say, uh, cannot achieve speed, because it'll be pulling in a gear, but then it just can't, if you have the cruise control set, it just can't get you there. So I'm gonna roll it real slow here on the highway, probably about 55, since I don't have weight distribution and sway on here. I can feel it moving me around a little bit when the cars pass, so I just keep it about 55 and hopefully we'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? So one thing you got to remember about travel trailers and one thing people don't really take into consideration with these things is that these are like this one here. I think it's like a 26 footer or something, but all it is is it's just a wall that the wind can push on so when the trucks pass you when it's windy outside any of that stuff like it is going to move you around even if you have the weight distribution and sway like if you have that stuff on and your truck can handle it it's going to be good like like if i was towing this with a 2500 or a 3500 like you know you wouldn't really feel it that much but it does come into play because when you're in a situation where there's a lot of wind this will definitely definitely push you around so you got to be careful when you're towing these things that's why you know when the littler cars you know like even like let's say a Jeep Gladiator or whatever you know it has a tow rating of 7,000 pounds and so maybe this a trailer that some of them are pretty big that don't they don't weigh that much because they're like ultra lights or whatever like that um, those kind of vehicles are gonna have a hard time like this is a pretty decently heavy truck um, you know it's meant to tow this and even this is gonna like move me around because it's pretty windy today so it's gonna be pushing me around so you got to be careful when you're towing this stuff you want to have a nice long wheelbase vehicle uh, something that can handle it um, I've towed with short wheelbase vehicles before and it ain't <laughs> it ain't fun it ain't good and uh, you know you want to go out camping and you want to have a good time and you want to take the family out and enjoy everything and the one thing you got to take into consideration so there's the gross vehicle weight on the trailer and then there's a dry weight so once you put it like start putting a battery you do the weight distribution hitch that's like a hundred pounds right there and all that weight is up on the front on the back of the truck so that's taking away payload and then you want to load all your stuff so that you can go camping um, you know so you really got to watch the weights and so you want to make sure your truck can handle the GVW of the trailer that way you don't have any issues because you don't want to have any issues when you're towing one of these suckers so I've seen we have a collision shop at my at my job uh, you do not want to be messing around with uh, with wind and pulling with the wrong vehicle and stuff because this trailer if it wants to and the conditions are right it'll just it'll make you do what it wants you to do and you'll have a hard time <laughs> you'll be on your lid you'll be sideways you'll be uh, maybe you know hopefully you'll still be alive after it so towing is very I take it very seriously and I think everybody else should take it seriously too so with that in mind I'm gonna worry about towing and I'll update you guys later all right so I'm just coming up to my exit here and uh, that was a little bit uh wasn't super white knuckle but it was uh it was pretty windy today and 
I was getting a lot of, so you kind of go, you know, how to tell when a couple of ways, but through town, I was getting a lot of side wind and uh, I just kept it at 55. So one thing you want to know, or one thing you want to do when you're towing a trailer, especially a travel trailer, uh, way different than towing a Jeep on a trailer or something like that, like a travel trailer specifically, uh, slow down. Um, I don't ever go over, even on the interstate, with all my sway and and uh, weight distribution and stuff, I very rarely go over like 65, like rarely. Like I actually, I never go over 65. So I keep it between 60 and 65. And then the cool thing about that is everybody else passes you. You know, you don't have to pass anybody. You don't have to change lanes. You don't have to, you know, unless it's you're climbing a big grade and there's a truck, but there's usually truck lanes and stuff. But um, yeah, the, the less you got to change lanes, the better. So a couple times it was pushing me real good and it, it got me side to side. Like it wasn't swaying, but you know, just the air and people passing and you know, it's just one of those things. Keep a lot of space, be prepared, put your brake control in a good spot to where if you got to reach down and uh, hit the slider, you can reach that. One of the reasons why that slider's there is because if you get into a situation to where your trailer wants to do the dance on you, you don't want to be hitting the brakes in the truck, you don't want to be doing any of that. You want to let off, you want to reach down, and you want to slide that lever over on the trailer brake, and you don't have to go full, full bore, but you want to give it enough to where it'll straighten the trailer out. So most of the time, you get into a situation like if if you can't reach down fast enough it, it might be over but it but you can tell a lot of the times the trailer will give you a warning like you'll start to go a certain speed and you'll feel it swaying around um, and sometimes you know if it's the right circumstances it can start doing that when you're going you know a proper speed and you can reach down and hit that slider and technically it should straighten the trailer out um, technically <laughs> But uh, towing's crazy. Towing is fun. Uh, you know, you can get your stuff, you know, wherever you're going and go camping. But it's uh, it's dangerous, and you got to put a lot of thought into it. And you got to make sure your truck is right for the trailer. You have to look at the weather conditions. You have to everything. The trailer needs to be level. You don't want to have too much tongue weight. You don't want to. You definitely don't want to have be tongue light. So you always so error on more tongue weight, but you don't want too much. So there's a there's a proper amount and you should have 10 to 15 percent of the trailer weight on the tongue of the truck so always keep that in mind level and if you have to err on a little bit more tongue weight that's kind of what I do and uh, it's kept me going I did have a problem towing the K10 on one of them U-Haul trailers and uh, I have, have a video where I talk about that but it uh, damn near lost it sucker just started swaying started going and whew, crazy but anyways um, almost to work here so yeah that's it it was uh 55 on the freeway wind blowing me around good stuff good stuff good times <laughs> all right so we got her all unloaded and uh, now I'm going to get some gas and get a burrito so that sounds good so anyways got the gas card might as well top her off let's uh had to just haul that thing all the way across town so anyways, yeah, the Silverado did good. There's never any with this 5.3. There's never really any. Even in the Suburban, I've never really felt any, like there was lack of power or anything, especially even with the six-speed. But, but did well, but it's a pretty big trailer. They've already moved it. It was sitting over there. But it's already gone and moved in somebody's bay. So uh, thanks for all with me today, guys. It was pretty fun. I just figured I'd bring you along on, uh, on picking up a trailer. And uh, it was pretty cool. So uh, talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys are doing well through all of this, all of this craziness. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm not exactly sure what the hell is going to come out of all of this. But um, I just uh, hope you come out with your health and you guys take it easy. Have a good day.